During a recent live stream, one of my viewers asked me if he will still be saved if he keeps the law but doesn't love his enemies. In this video, I'm going to be playing a clip from that live stream as I answer that question and explain the relationship between faith and salvation. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you're new so you get notified about my future live streams and video uploads. Now for the clip. All right, so Yash Singh said, Greg, if I keep all the law but not love my enemies or anyone, will I still be saved? No, but at the same time, you're not saved by keeping the law. We are saved by grace through faith, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. It's important to keep the law, but we have to keep it for the right reasons, and we don't keep it to be saved. It says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. We cannot earn our salvation by our good works, but at the same time, we still need to keep the law and do good works. Why is that? Not in order to be saved, but because we have been saved. You know, in John chapter 14, verse 15, Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commandments. So out of love for Jesus and appreciation of what he has done for us in dying on the cross for our sins, we obey him. But it's not the cause for salvation, it's the effect of salvation. Law-keeping is not a means of salvation. It's an effect of salvation. After we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we obey Him out of love. Did you know that good people won't go to heaven? God's grace doesn't abolish His law and you can lose your salvation? Learn about this and more by clicking on the screen and watching my video entitled 10 Facts About Salvation Every Christian Must Know. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it to help spread God's word. Thank you for watching and God bless you.